What's up locals? Out here today at Baker Park here in Calgary, Alberta, the most played course in Canada, believe it or not. Now I would say that there are a few prettier courses in the province, but in terms of traffic, this is the course. Kind of cool spot here, right across the river. You've got COP, Canada Olympic Park, home to the 1988 Calgary Olympics right across this beautiful river, the Bow River right here too. All right, so we're gonna have a quick look today at the Grip G Series bag today. And uh, you know, this bag, <laughs> I don't know if it gets the love that maybe it deserves or maybe it doesn't. Maybe it's just an overpriced small bag, but we're gonna find that out today. This is a designed to be a shoulder bag. And to me, it seems kind of like they've they've appealed to sort of the, the disc golfer who's looking for that sort of premium experience. You know, it's a, a grip bag is, uh, you know, kind of giving you maybe a few extra little features, I think. Let's double check. But yeah, it does offer the uh, rails on the bottom like a grip bag can and a really sort of hardy strap. Nice grip on here as well. I am loving this bag um, as an option for a travel bag. As a father of two, you know, I'm not always able to carry my full bag and full amount of gear. Um, you know, if we're on a trip, going to see family across the country or elsewhere, this bag offers uh, me the ability to, you know, get on that plane with my backpack and keep this as kind of like a shoulder bag still carrying. I've got two putters up top, a um, couple of pilots, and then I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now I've actually kind of gone mid-range here just to show you that, you know, sort of middle of the run discs, seven mid-range, and then two fairway drivers up front, nine, 10, 11 discs. So, you know, I don't know about you, but most of the time on an average day out on the course, I'm probably not throwing much more than 11, uh, depending on the course. So, and again, uh, this is mostly mid ranges right now. So I definitely could have got away with uh, probably a few extra discs had I gone distance driver in there as well. But I love this for being, you know, fairly small. If you already use a grip bag, it has a lot of the familiarity that a grip bag offers in terms of, you know, this back pocket here, perfect for wallet keys, things like that. And uh, the patented little strap at the top here where I can actually pull on this and it will actually act to raise up the putter so that they're more accessible, but easily loosen so that they can slip right in and be zipped up for travel so that you don't lose anything from this bag. I know it's sitting a little bit low for the camera angle here, but um, also very familiar to grip users, especially like a CS2 user, are these side expandable pockets. Uh, great, again, for cell phone wallet keys, but also a great spot for a water bottle. They're sort of like a dual purpose pocket. They condense down quite nicely. Little magnetic pocket here, perfect again for like a mini. And other side kind of gives you the same, no magnetic um, closure on this side, but again, that sort of expandable pocket. And again, as something like a travel bag, kind of perfect. I mean, I'm not gonna have like, you know, two 32 ounce um, water bottles with a small bag like this. This is kind of a perfect bag, maybe for your glow round. Or again, like I just said, it's kind of a great travel bag. Yes, there's gonna be trips I go on where I'm gonna be looking for like, you know, my pound bag or a larger grip bag, something like, you know, substantial so that I can carry everything. Uh, but you know, if I'm going on a trip with my family and I look and say, oh, you know, there's a couple courses like not too far from where we're gonna be, might be able to get out for a couple rounds. This is kind of a perfect bag for that. You know, I know there's a couple of other ones. Uh, Dynamic Discs does one. I'll leave a link to that one on screen too. Definitely leave a comment down below if you have any ideas for any other sort of small portable bags. Obviously like the traditional little sort of squared off kind of duffel bag that holds, you know, eight to 12 or eight to 15. All of those bags work just as well. They're all gonna be completely suitable 
for this kind of a purpose. But as someone that's coming from a grip bag, this bag works really well. And I know that, you know, it's just kind of familiar uh, coming from the CX-1 and a CS-2 before that. You know, the side pockets are familiar. Again, I love this back part here. At the end of a round, I don't know about you, but if I throw my keys or wallet lazily into my bag, I'm always fumbling for them where this has like, you know, a perfect little spot for that, you know. It's got, again, the familiarity of a larger bag with the putter pocket on top and this front pocket, which is great for just, you know, discs that you're gonna be using regularly. So, um, I want to give a huge shout out to our friend Jason in our local community uh, for letting me borrow his Grip G Series bag for this video today. And uh, again, this was a bag that I've been kind of considering uh, for those kinds of trips that I mentioned, where you know there's a course you know accessible to where we're going to be, but I, I can't really justify bringing everything because you know we're going to be there with the family and there's other things happening, and it's like oh I can't really bring my full bag. This is kind of a perfect little bag and actually a little bigger than um, I initially expected from just from looking at it online, what I saw. I thought, oh, this is gonna be really small and it's actually, you know, bigger than I expected. So this bag will serve, you know, serve you great. You can, again, go over the shoulder, but I can still get a backpack on with it. Um, the only thing that I might say, I wouldn't mind this strap. I could obviously doctor it, but I wouldn't mind this strap being just a hair longer. I'm a tall guy and I just kind of wish that if I go over the shoulder that it sat just a little lower. I don't really have the option to adjust this right now. Yes, I could change the strap out and find something else, but you know, for the price point, again, you're kind of paying a premium price for this bag. Wouldn't mind seeing, you know, just that option to be able to extend um, or shorten this strap to meet every person's needs. Anyway, that's it for uh, this quick look at the GRIP G-Series bag. Any questions, please leave them down in the comments. Once again, thank you to Jason. And wanna give a quick shout out to our Patreon community. Thanks again. And if you're looking for a quick little shout out or a more personal experience with Local Disc Golf, be sure to check out patreon.com slash local disc golf. As always, thank you to our members and our partners. We will see you in the next one. This is local, we are local.